when we are the dwelling place of the father the son and the holy spirit no demons can conquer us dear friends i have a small question to begin with how do you feel when you have done a good job good work and when people appreciate you people speak good of you people applaud for you and on the other way around how do you feel when you have done a good job and still people criticize you people speak bad of you people try to put you down before we try to answer that question let us try to look at the person of jesus jesus whole life can be summarized as a life in service of others doing so many good works for others but there are times people criticize him uncharitably there are times people try to put him down try to kill him there are also times people appreciated him spoke good of him people wanted to make him a king there were times of appreciation there were times of criticism in the gospel of the day we hear one moment where jesus was criticized when he delivered a man from an a demonic spirit people said he has a demon in himself he has the prince of demon belzebul in him that is why he is able to deliver someone from demonic spirit that was a very uncharitable criticism how did jesus respond to that jesus remained calm and composed what we see in the life of jesus when he was appreciated when he was criticized he remained calm and composed and focused on the mission that the father gave him he was rather unaffected by human appreciation or criticism that is the first lesson we can take from the gospel today in our lives too there are moments people appreciate us people criticize us let us not be exalted above heavens when we are appreciated let us not fall into depression and become gloomy when we are criticized let us rather be focused on the mission that the father has given and go ahead calm and composed the second lesson from the gospel today is the way the lord used this criticism to teach a lesson Jesus picked up this conversation and speaks about the reality of the existence of demon and powers of darkness. Listen to what the Lord says. Gospel of St Luke chapter 11 verse 20. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The Lord goes on to say verse 21, when a strong man fully armed guards his own palace his goods are in peace but when one stronger than he assails him and overcomes him he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil the lord compares the demon to a strong man fully armed yes we all know satan has spiritual powers he is strong man fully armed but then the lord says but when one stronger than he who is that jesus much stronger than demon assails him and overcomes him he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil jesus in the gospel of saint john chapter 16 verse 33 says in the world you will have troubles but be of good cheer for i have overcome the world jesus is the one who has overcome the world the powers of darkness 1 John chapter 3 verse 7 says the reason the son of god appeared was to end the works of evil one again we read in philippians chapter 2 verse 15 philippians chapter 2 verse 15 he disarmed the principalities and powers and made a public example of them that is the second lesson jesus has power over powers of darkness jesus has power over every demonic forces that takes us to the third lesson of the gospel today jesus speaks in the gospel today he who is not with me is against me 
and he who does not gather with me scatters we are not in a playground we are in a battle ground we are either with god or against god we are with god or with the one who is against god that is power of darkness in this spiritual warfare my brothers and sisters we cannot take a neutral stand if you are trying to take a neutral stand you fall in the category that is against god jesus in order to amplify that lesson uses this example of a man from whom a demonic power is cast out the lord says when an unclean spirit has gone out of a man he passes through waterless places seeking rest and finding none he says i will return to my house from which i came the power of darkness comes back to that man from where he was expelled and he sees that person's life is clean but still unoccupied then what does the unclean spirit does he goes and brings seven more unclean spirits and occupies his life and the lord says his situation becomes worse than what he was first what does it say that man when he was freed from the unclean spirit did not fill himself with the lord spirit with the holy spirit with the power of god therefore he was again conquered back by the unclean spirit jesus in the gospel of saint john chapter 14 verse 23 john chapter 14 verse 23 the lord says if a man loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come and make a dwelling place when we are freed by the every demonic spirit if we are filled with the love for god's word then the father will love us when we love god's word and obey god's word the father will love us and the father the son and the holy spirit will come and make a dwelling place and if we are filled with god's spirit no demonic forces can come to us dear sisters and brothers let us take these three lessons from the gospel today not to be discouraged when we are criticized rather be focused on the mission second jesus has power over every satanic evil spirits third when we are filled with god's spirit when we are the dwelling place of the father the son and the holy spirit no demons can conquer us god bless you